place called Tralee, which is the capital of some kingdom in the south of Ireland. Never could quite figure that one out. <laughs> nice place, sounds like. Friendly. Happy childhood time. There's some stories about those days and knows how to tell them himself. Lovely summer's day. But who comes to it but Gard Kavna on his big old bike? So we nod. Oh, the guy he won't stop. But he pulls up and dismounts like Gary Cooper having a bad day. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello, sir. What are you doing out here? Nothing. Nothing. Now, why'd you come all the way out here to do nothing? Why didn't you stay in town to do nothing? And the apples keep coming up. <laughs> Oh, don't forget to show me if you want to go to work. Oh, don't forget to show me if you want to go to work. Oh, don't forget to show me if you want to go to work. Oh, you left the lights and left those bags where we can run. Ha! Dig it. Ah, And don't forget to shoot the socks and shirt and tie it all. And don't forget to shoot the socks and shirt and tie it all. And don't forget to shoot the socks and shirt and tie it all. Mr. Murphy thinks you're naked, if you have a fall. But then you do it over I need to know. People that tell you now that what happened in Christie's career, they saw coming a mile off. Well, you take that with a pinch of the old sodium chloride. All aboard for the Emerald Isle Express. Ambrose Dunham who said to me, why don't you do a gig in Ireland? And I said, so who come and see me, Ambrose? And he said, don't worry, there's a man in Dublin to look after all that. So I said, I couldn't do it. You mean, he's going to fly me over, put me up, and pay me money as well? I couldn't do that to the man. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to Wheelands in Dublin, and there was a big crowd outside, a queue. And I said, oh, who else is on in there? <laughs> you are not heavy on the road. 